Hina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 90. We're in book 4 of the Psalms now, trotting right along. Psalm 90, I'm going to do just verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Now, I brought up this verse before when I was talking about, uh, I believe it was God's omnipotence, or was it his omniscience, or was it just maybe a little bit of both? Maybe even I threw in a little bit of his um, omnipresence in there as well. Not sure. But basically from everlasting to everlasting, from eternity to eternity, he is God. And in that series a long time ago, for those of you who didn't watch, I was basically talking about how I can kind of understand, like you have a starting point, and then you go on forever, right? But having a line that just kind of goes infinitely both ways is kind of mind-bending, that's a little bit strange to me. And human man minds can't really understand going forever, even in any, even from a starting point, just to go on forever and ever and literally forever and not have an end. That's not really within human conceptual grasps because, again, we have, we have like the term infinity and we use it in calculus, but it's not something the human mind can really get a hold of because it's just so big. It literally has no ending. And to compound that, when you have an eternity in both directions, it has no beginning or end, that is really, really, really mind-bending. Honestly, that's one of the things that I don't really get. I accept it by faith, but I don't really understand how God just kind of goes infinitely in both directions. He, he won't have an end. He also never had a beginning. He's just always been. I don't get that. And that actually is the point of today's message. There are many things... Many more things than I think most Christians realize that can be explained by just using biblical verses, um, proper hermeneutics or biblical interpretation, logic, rationale, and science. Yes, science factors into it as well, and the Bible does make sense on those topics. Then there are some statements like that where it's like you can take it at face value and like, okay, that's how it is, but to really grasp it, to really understand it, it's a little bit hard to do. I would dare say it's beyond humanity's ability to fully comprehend a statement like that. And if that, and if that one is something you feel that you, you've got under your belt, you've got it, more power to you, my props go to you. However, there's not a single person who can read the entire Bible and say just every single bit of it makes sense. They understand every single part of it. I've never met a single person who said that who wasn't full of crap. Uh, just being honest, if that opinion ever changes, I will let you know and shout out that person with the biggest shout out in the world. I have not met a single godly man or woman who's made perfect sense of every single verse. There are some things that don't quite make sense. There are some things that just seem a little bit out of place. Several things just come as you study it over the years, as you mature in your Christianity, as you get a better grasp of God and theology in general. Some things, I think in this world, are going to remain beyond our grasp. The Trinity, another really good example. One God, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Bible in the Old and New Testaments talks about this doctrine quite a bit. And it really does look like there's one God. It really does look like there's three of them. And somehow both situations are true. I feel like I have a decent grasp of that subject. I feel like I can explain it well. But to say I fully grasp it and fully understand it, not this side of eternity. Not, not this side of heaven. I don't think that's going to happen. I, again, uh, may, and maybe one day I'll even go into that a little bit. Because I do feel like I, I, I understand and can explain that doctrine. Just like, you know, he, God eternally goes that way and he eternally goes this way. I can enunciate it. I can believe in it but I can't quite wrap my brain around it. And there are several points in faith where you have to take it by faith. There are some things that you can find evidence for, like, like why is the Bible a reliable book today? Why is it likely that there is a God as opposed to there not being a God? Is it likely that Jesus was a real person? Maybe even was who he says he was. I think there's some good evidence in all those directions. But there are going to be some things where ultimately you've got, once you've looked at the evidence... And actually, this kind of applies for all of knowledge. You look at the evidence, and you just say, okay, this is where the evidence points. I choose to believe in that. And then there are some things like the eternity to eternity and the trinity where it's like, I see what it's saying. Don't quite get it. I still believe it. It takes a little bit more faith 
a little less evidence to grab onto those things. For some, that will put Christianity and faith itself forever beyond their grasp because they simply refuse to stretch out their hands in faith. But I would say to choose to not believe in anything because there are some things that are a bit too far beyond our comprehension to get, to deny faith because of those bigger matters, that's a bit foolish. Especially when there are some matters, like what I mentioned before, we can grasp them to a pretty good extent, and we can get some things down pretty decently in this life. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and um, hopefully this was encouraging to you guys. Hopefully this uh, uh, just pushed some of you to maybe move forward in your faith, maybe to accept some things that you don't quite get yet, and just you understand some things, and it kind of goes back to one thing I said in a previous video. You've got to come to a point where you are content not knowing everything. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.